Salutations, niggas. On phone net, we in this bitch. Welcome to Unnecessary News. I'm the host with the most and the nigga that's slicker than syrup on French toast. That's right, Tune Day. AKA Tune Got Jokes. AKA Chocolate Poppy. <laughs> God damn it. AKA Chocolate Bye Bye for all my night job people. And don't act like you don't see that goddamn flag in the back. First topic that we have to discuss today is, um, yeah, in local news, uh, Kim Kardashian and the Kardashian family have decided to officially shut down the Dash storefront uh, clothing store that they have here in Los Angeles. Now, mind you, I don't get no fuck about the store because I've never shopped there. They probably only got halter tops and booty shorts and shit. But shit, it's something that's actually made the news and people, I guess, care about it. Not to mention that the Kardashian family has had their TV show out for like, nigga, like 15 se seasons. They don't need to sell no goddamn clothes anyway. I ain't gonna lie, I've been walking down, uh, I don't even know what the fuck is that, but whatever, the what street it was on, I done walked down there and I ain't seen nobody in that bitch. Like, at all. And keep it buck, only person that really be in that motherfucker anyway is Courtney. She ain't got shit else to do. She ain't fucking no NBA players or no rappers. She ain't got nothing to do. More importantly, fuck the store, okay? It's not about the store. Chloe just had a baby. Kylie just had a baby. And fucking Kim been out here paying other people to have her kids. They don't got time to be in that fucking store selling t-shirts and shit. You know what I'm saying? Sell it online. Put it like this, goddamn Kardashians is out here living a lavish life. Fucking rappers, fucking basketball players. You know what I'm saying? Marrying niggas like Kanye. They, they life is too extravagant to be fucking selling, you know what I'm saying, t-shirts two for 15 and, or whatever they selling them for. Nigga, they got shit to do. But long story short, if you're checking for some dash shit, um, go online, cause uh, you can't go in the store no more cause they're closing that bitch down. So, on to another topic. Oh, J. Cole. Yes, that's right, Fayetteville's own and North Carolina's finest. Just dropped his new album, K.O.D. Now, do I know what K.O.D. stands for? Hell no, it's like three titles or some shit, but fuck it, pick your own. Whatever you feel is the best title for K.O.D., choose. I thought it was King of Diamonds, I ain't gonna lie. I did thought he was doing some stripper shit. But either way, he's just dropped his new album, and um, after listening to it, I'm gonna be honest with you. It was all right, it's okay. I heard another review, somebody said the shit was boring. I'm like, nah, it ain't boring, nigga. He just ain't, you know what I'm saying, Millie rocking and fucking, you know what I'm saying, doing all that extra dancing ass shit on his album. He just speaking some real shit like he do. But the nigga has been in hiding for a while, or he hasn't really been out on the scene. He's not really that much of a, you know, social guy, I think. He just really, he really embedded his music. But I don't know if that motherfucker has been in the studio or he got trapped in a goddamn Jumanji game. Have you seen this nigga's hair? He look like some shit that just came off of jumping off a of vine from fucking Tarzan, nigga. Being woke is one thing. Being a conscious rapper is another thing, but being a nigga who knows how to comb or fucking style his own hair is another thing. You're a grown ass man. Nigga, put the shit in a bun or some shit. I don't know, that man bun thing is popping now. Nigga, stop letting your hair hang like you, you know what I'm saying? Like you eat fruit, you know what I'm saying? Straight off the vine or some shit. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? If the nigga like it, goddamn, I'm sure somebody love it, so. Uh, God bless J. Cole and everything he got going on. Make sure you go check out the album KOD. Um, if it's not your cup of tea because you listen to Lil Uzi and Lil Yachty and them niggas, this will definitely not. You won't like this shit at all. But it is good quality music, so um, go check that out. In other news, a lady by the name of Christian. Crenshonda Williams? Is that her name for real? Yeah, Crenshonda Williams. Uh, We'll be facing some jail time because this bitch was out here as a 911 operator hanging up on thousands of people. Reports show that her supervisor realized that too many of her goddamn phone calls only about 20 seconds and she didn't, as a dispatch person, didn't send a lot of cops out in all of them damn conversations that she's been having. So they went back and did a little research on old Crenshaw Williams. That, that's what I'm gonna call it, Crenshaw, because whoever named her Crenshonda need they ass beat. Crenshonda? Anyway, Crenshonda, AKA Crenshaw, must have found it funny, or, you know what I'm saying, got a fucking, got her rocks off by fucking hanging up on people calling 911. So guess what, bitch? That's why you're going to jail. Ha <laughs> ha! Not only did this bitch need to go to jail, goddamn, they need to throw a book at her ass. The fuck is wrong with you hanging up on people who got shit, to, you got shit as an emergency? The fuck you need to pick a different job? Yeah, Shorty was bugging. She was uh, she was what we call tweaking where I'm from. Uh, 
because they said she hung up on thousands of people just just because she didn't want to talk to them. Bitch, get a different job. Now, I don't know what's going on down there in Houston, but shit, don't be calling the police expecting motherfuckers to show up. The bitches like Crenshonda, Crenshonda, is working because down in Texas, evidently, they fucking up. With some better news, since we already talking about the South, down in New Orleans. Yeah, there's some black excellence going on down in that bitch, let me tell you. A young brother by the name of Darian Frank, Frank Osis, Frank, Frank Os. Nigga, I don't know if the I is silent, or you know what I'm saying, maybe the I and the S is silent. You know what I'm saying, I know how that Creole shit be going on down in New Orleans, but uh, some young black nigga is out here flourishing, okay? Let's just say that, he out here flourishing, you hear me? Yes, this young man by the name of Darian found himself being accepted to 83 colleges. Talk about a fucking genius, nigga. Like, how, first of all, how much is goddamn uh, college applications now? That was a grip back in the day when I was just, uh, submitting for shit. 83 goddamn colleges, nigga? You really want to be somebody that bad, huh? Shit. Fucking, this college application is $2 now? It must be. It must be. Because it was like $50 a fucking college when I was doing it. That's why, shit, you, I fucking came up about $200 in a good dice game, nigga. Applied to three colleges, nigga. And whoever hit me back, that's where I went. Shout out to Saluki, SIU, nigga. Only reason why I went there is because y'all said yes. Yeah, nigga like me, I wouldn't have been applying to that goddamn many schools, shit. This motherfucker must have saved up every goddamn nickel in his goddamn piggy bank to apply for these schools, cause shit. 83? You gotta quit after like eight. He states that he just kept applying and applying and applying because he didn't know exactly which one he wanted to go to, but he knew he wanted to give himself options. Okay. So young brother, God bless you, and uh, keep going ahead, exerting that black excellence. Well, well, that's been this edition of Unnecessary News. I'm your host with the most, that's right, Toon Day, AKA Toon Got Jokes. And you can follow me on all my social media platforms at Toon Got Jokes, that's T-U-N-G-O-T-J-O-K-E-S, and it's right there, right there, right there. Also be sure to tune into my podcast, Do Say and Backwards, that's available on iTunes and SoundCloud, and subscribe to that shit. It's quality entertainment for your ears, my nigga, quality. And uh, yeah, that's been a segment of Unnecessary News, aka UNN. Catch us next time. It's your boy, Toon Diggity. Out.